In my last mock draft, I think I was daydreaming a little too much, but anything is possible. I am excited to share with you guys today my fourth mock draft, which I think is very reasonable and could help the Bears instantly become a contender. I think the Bears are going to do multiple tradebacks, and I'm going to throw one in there that people haven't talked about yet, but I think could help the team significantly. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to this episode of Just Another Year Chicago. My name is Nick Rohde. Thank you for tuning in. Today, like I said, I will be going over my fourth mock draft of probably many and I'm very excited because I took a lot of time with this one and I really appreciate you guys tuning in. Before we kick it off, please make sure you hit that like button on this video. Put your thoughts in the comment section below. And if you want to see more content like this and you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button. And fair warning, this video is definitely longer than my average five minute video I've been posting lately. All right, let's do it. Starting off with our trade backs. With my first trade back is pretty obvious. I'm going to have the Bears trading back with the Houston Texans. I wanted an absolute haul of picks last time, but I don't think that the Texans are going to give up too much to move up one spot. They're also in a rebuild and they also just want to go out and get a quarterback, but they still want to trade up potentially in case the Bears draft the guy that they want and would potentially hold it over their heads and want more draft capital. What makes it interesting is that the Indianapolis Colts at pick number four also want to trade for a quarterback and are likely going to get into a betting war with the Chicago Bears. If the Bears only let the Texans move up one pick and the Bears trade back with the Indianapolis Colts, everyone wins. So with my first trade back, I have the Houston Texans doing the following. Given the Bears the number two overall pick along with the number 66 overall pick and the number 105 overall pick. The Bears here would only give up the 2023 number one overall pick. Again, I don't think Houston's going to make any like drastic moves like giving up their second round pick in order to just move up one spot considering they are rebuilding as well. This is a good trade for the Chicago Bears because it gives them more draft capital and still keeps them in the top two. Even better, it's going to make the Indianapolis Colts still want to trade up with the Chicago Bears for the number two overall pick. Indianapolis has already said that they're they're going to do whatever they can in order to get the guy that they want. And that is where they are going to give a little bit more of a haul for the Bears number two overall pick. Here I have the Bears getting here. I have the Bears receiving the Indianapolis Colts 2023 number four overall pick along with their 2023 number 35 overall pick along with their 2023 107 overall pick. And then following next year, they would get Indianapolis first and second round. Bears would only be giving up the number two overall pick to Indianapolis. Indy is going to give up a ton more because they do have to move over the air. Arizona Cardinals as well, because the Cardinals could do the same thing, kind of like I was talking about, where hold trade bait over Indianapolis' head. So they want to just get that over with and get the number two overall pick. So here's where things get interesting, because I mentioned I would do three trade backs. With how stacked free agency is with defensive linemen and offensive linemen, the Bears may fo focus their order of upgrade in the trenches for free agency and focus more on getting weapons for Justin Fields and upgrading the defense through the draft. With the third trade I'm going to talk about, which I feel like no one's really done yet, is with the Las Vegas Raiders. In this trade, the Bears would trade Indianapolis number four overall pick to the Raiders for Devontae Adams, which makes an instant upgrade in the wide receiver room for the Chicago Bears and getting the Raiders number seven overall pick. This gives Las Vegas the shot to get the third best quarterback in the NFL draft, clear cap with Devontae Adams, and pretty much because he said himself, pretty much, he only went to Las Vegas to play with Derek Carr. So let me give you a quick breakdown of all that. Bears stick in the top 10 by getting the number seven overall pick with getting more picks. Bears gain four picks in this year's draft in two next next year, and they land a top 10 wide receiver in Devontae Adams. They also have the cap in order to a four Adams, so it all works out. Now, let's get into all the picks that the Bears are going to have. The Bears' first pick in round one at number seven via the Las Vegas Raiders. I have the Bears selecting Tyree Wilson Edge from Texas Tech. 6'6", 275, a senior at 22 years old from Henderson, Texas. In 2022, he had 61 total tackles, 36 of those being solo, 25 being assist, along with seven sacks, one forced fumble, and one fumble recovery. According to NFLDraftBuzz.com. He has an 88.2 overall rating, and he is the number five ranked edge in the 2023 NFL Draft. He has a 40 time of 4.82, a tackling of 73 out of 100, a pass rush of 83 out of 100, and a run defense of 79 out of 100. I like him because he's already playing in the exact defensive scheme that Allen Williams has. He also shows that he is just a brute force, able to throw blockers off of him, get after the quarterback, and he is a sleeper because if Will Anderson Jr. wasn't ahead of him, I think that he'd be arguably the best edge in the NFL draft, even though he's ranked number five. Huge ability to get after the quarterback with his speed, strength, and size, and that's a huge check mark checked off for the Chicago Bears. Pick number two for the Bears in round two, 35 via the Indianapolis Colts. I have the Bears selecting Siaka Ika, defensive tackle from Baylor. 
358 pounds. He's the number 24th ranked player in the 2023 NFL draft, according to CBS Sports. He's only 21 years old and a junior for Baylor, and he grew up in Salt Lake City, Utah. In 2022, he had 23 total tackles, 10 being solo, 13 assists, and two pass deflections. According to NFLDraftBuzz.com, he has an 86.9 rating. He is a 40 time of 5.4, along with his tackling being 42 out of 100, his pass rush being 86 out of 100, and his run defense being 73 out of 100. He's going to fall back a little bit in this draft due to what he looks like on paper from a tackling perspective, but it's only ranked low because he's more of an assist guy because he has so many double teams going on him. He's also 358 pounds, a massive guy that is missing on the defensive line for the Chicago Bears and will beef up the trenches and instant upgrade for the Chicago Bears. Insane upper body strength, great at splitting double teams, and great footwork for a big man. I like him in the second round. With the Bears' third pick also in the second round via the Baltimore Ravens at 54, I have the Bears selecting Jack Campbell, linebacker from Iowa. 6'5", 246 pounds, a 22-year-old senior from Cedar Falls, Iowa. In 2022, he had 125 total tackles, 59 being solo, having 66 assists, one sack, one forced fumble, one fumble recovery, one pass deflection, and two interceptions. He's an 85.4 grade, according to NFLDraftBuzz.com. He's the number ninth ranked linebacker in this upcoming draft. He has a 4.740 time. His tackling is 92 out of 100, 71 out of 100 for his pass rush. His run defense is 88 out of 100, and his coverage is 95 out of 100. His ability to cover sideline to sideline, but also be able to stop the run is huge for the Chicago Bears. It would be a great pairing with Jack Sanborn. With the Bears' fourth pick in round three at 65, I have the Chicago Bears selecting Ricky Stromberg, center from Arkansas. Bears clearly have a need at center in the six foot four, 318 pound senior who's 22 years old is a big upgrade for the Chicago Bears. From Tulsa, Oklahoma, he has an 85.1 grade according to NFLDraftBuzz.com and the number three ranked center in the draft. Centers usually don't go that early and I think that he is a good asset to have and he might fall to the third round, which is where he's projected right now, but he has an 85 out of 100 blocking grade and 93 out of 100 run block. We need a center and I feel like this guy could instantly be an improvement and be a big step forward for the Chicago Bears offensive line. With the Bears fifth pick in round three at 66 via the Houston Texans in my draft, dream draft, the Chicago Bears are going to be selecting Jalen Hyatt, wide receiver from Tennessee. Now, I know a lot of people are like, Hyatt's going in the second round. Not according to many analysts. The six foot, 180 pound wide receiver is a junior at 21 years old from Irko, South Carolina. His size is what hurts him and that's why I think he'll fall to the third round. In 2022, he had 67 receptions for over 1,200 yards, making 16.3 yards per catch and nine touchdowns. A huge part of that Tennessee offense, he is a great slot wide receiver with crazy speed considering he runs a 4.29 40 time. According to NFLDraftBuzz.com, he is the number two ranked wide receiver on their website. PFF has him falling to 66 again due to his size. He is 77 out of 100 hands, 85 out of 100 on his short routes, 90 out of 100 on his medium routes, 92 out of 100 on his deep routes, and he's actually one of the better blocking receivers at 68 out of 100. In my perfect world getting Devontae Adams, you also go out and get Hyatt. So now you have a wide receiver room of Chase Claypool, Darnell Mooney, Devontae Adams, and Jalen Hyatt. Pretty stacked and no excuses there. With the Bears' sixth pick in round four at 104, I have the Bears selecting J.L. Skinner, defensive back from Boise State. The 6'4", 225-pound safety is a 22-year-old senior and from San Diego, California. In 2022, he had 62 total tackles, 36 being solo, 26 assists, with four interceptions and four pass deflections. He is an 85.2 uh, rate grade, according to NFLDraftBuzz.com, and is the number 17th ranked defensive back. He has a 4.55 40 time, and when QBs target him, their QBR is 55.4, very low. Tackling 74 out of 100, his run defense is 65 out of 100, his coverage is 78 out of 100, zone 74 out of 100, and man and press coverage 74 out of 100. Bears need a big defensive back, and also Eddie Jackson is not going to be their safety forever. Unfortunately, his he is getting later in his career, still playing very well, but why not go out and get another ball hawk and let Eddie Jackson train him to be another Pro Bowl safety? Skinner is very aware, hits hard, and causes breakups, and he is a mean dude on the field that I think would be great in the secondary. In Ryan Hayes, offensive tackle from Michigan. The 6'7", 305-pound, 22-year-old senior is from Travis City, Michigan. In 81.6 grade, according to NFLDraftBuzz.com, he is the number 27th ranked offensive tackle in the NFL draft. 4.96 40 time with a 76 out of 100 pass blocking and run blocking 74 out of 100. Bears need tackle depth. I think he'd be more of a depth guy, but his speed helps him and his size 
guys, especially with the run game, as the Bears were one of the best running teams in the NFL this year. A very smart lineman and could be a good steal for the Chicago Bears. Pick number eight, round four, 107 from the Indianapolis Colts. I have the Bears selecting KJ Henry Edge from Clemson. The 6'4", 255-pound senior is 22 years old from Winston-Salem, North Carolina. He had 51 total tackles, 26 solo, 25 assists with three and a half sacks and one forced fumble in 2022. He is an 83.9 grade according to NFLDraftBuzz.com, but is the number 20 ranked edge in the 2023 NFL Draft. He is projected to be a fourth round pick. Ironically, I think that is very late for a guy with this much talent, considering he has a 4.740 time, 77 out of 100 tackling, 83 out of 100 pass rush, and run defense, 78 out of 100. Has great hands and upper body strength, aggressive and mean, and is able to swat away blockers and get after any running back or quarterback. Hey, if they're projecting to be late, I love it. Thank you so much for tuning in this long. But guys, by the way, we have three more picks here, and I promise you guys are going to like it. At pick number nine, round four, pick 135, I have the Bears selecting Kendra Miller, running back from TCU. He's a six foot, 220 pound running back, 21 years old junior from Mount Enterprise Tech. In 2022, he had 224 rushes for nearly 1,400 yards with a 6.2 yard carry, 17 rushing touchdowns, 16 receptions, 116 receiving yards yards, which meant he had 7.3 yards per catch. He is exactly an 80 grade according to NFLDraftBuzz.com, and running backs, again, aren't very popular in the draft unless they're generational type talent, which he's a good running back. There's no doubt about it, but I think he'll fall into the later route. Rushing, he has 89 out of 100 with a 4.5840 4.5840 time. He breaks tackles 81 out of 100. His receiving in hand 62 out of 100, but his pass blocking is 33 out of 100, which is a big worry for me. And his run blocking is 53 out of 100. He's clearly a playmaker, kind of like Cleo Herbert, but we need a guy who can block. If the Bears can bring in someone like Barkley, like Jacobs, or even re-sign Montgomery, this guy would be a great RB3. With the 10th pick, round five, pick number 138, I have the Bears selecting Jaden Hasselwood, wide receiver from Arkansas. The 6'3", 213-pound junior is 21 years old from Atlanta, Georgia. In 2022, he had 59 receptions for 702 yards, 11.9 yard per catch, and three touchdowns. He is a 77.2 grade, according to NFLDraftBuzz.com, and the number 29th ranked wide receiver in this upcoming draft. He is a four 4.48 40 time pretty fast for a big man with 72 out of 100 hands his short routes are 74 out of 100 his medium routes are 83 out of 100 his deep routes are 83 out of 100 and his blocking is 58 out of 100 i think a good wide receiver for the bears in later rounds go out and get another big body you can't have too many of them and also he's really good at contested catches two more picks round five the 151st pick via the new england patriots i have the bears selecting spencer anderson offensive guard from maryland 6'5, 305 pounds he's 20 year old senior from Bowie, Maryland. He has a 75.9 grade according to NFLDraftBuzz.com, the number 49th ranked offensive lineman in the draft. He runs a 5.2540. His pass blocking is 83 out of 100, but his run blocking is 57 out of 100. Falls back later in the draft due to his run blocking. I think that that's something the Bears could work on later in time, but again, more of a depth guy, especially for his pass blocking. Folks, 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 the last pick. It's finally here. Thank you for tuning in as always with pick number 12, round seven, pick 221. I have the Bears selecting my guy, Jordan Jefferson, defensive tackle from West Virginia University. I had him as my last pick last time because this guy is nuts. He's literally Jalen Carter just without the name. 6'3", 310 pounds, which is the same exact size. Junior, 21 years old, same age. Grew up in Navari, Florida, which is not too far from where Jalen Carter grew up. In 2022, he had 31 total tackles, 13 being solo, 18 assists, and five pass deflections. Nearly the same stats as Jalen Carter. He's a 75.1 grade according to NFLDraftBuzz.com and the number 58th ranked defensive tackle in this upcoming draft. His 40 time is 4.75, which is faster than Jalen Carter. Just want to put that out there. Uh, His tackling is 83 out of 100. His pass rush defense is 65 out of 100 and his run defense is 70 out of 100. I think he could be a legit steal and a good late round pick. But that's it, guys. Putting it into review with pick one for the Bears, I have the Bears selecting Tyree Wilson. Pick number two, Siaka Ika. Uh, Pick three, Jack Campbell. Pick four, Ricky Stromberg. Pick five, Jalen Hyatt. Pick six, JL Skinner. Pick seven, Ryan Hayes. Pick eight, KJ Henry. Pick nine, Kendra Miller. Pick 10, Jaden Hasselwood. Pick 11, Spencer Anderson. And pick 12, Jordan Jeffrey. Thank you so much for tuning in this episode of Just Another Year Chicago. More draft mock drafts to come. But with that, thank you very much for tuning in, and we will see you guys next time.